my name is Nadja and I have an eyeshadow palette addiction. I got blood on my hands right now And I'm stumbling through the dark and the dawn I have found new ways But no, I can't be the one that you need yeah. Hi guys, it's me Nadja from NadjaDiamond.com and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year first and foremost. This is the first video of 2020. Today we're going to be talking about all of my 2019 beauty favorites. So I'm going to do my makeup with you. I'm going to tell you the things that I loved and could not live without in 2019. And yeah, we'll just kind of chat about all those kind of things and maybe, you know, the way ahead as far as my channel goes and goals and, you know, all those anyway, things. If you want to basically get ready with me with some of my favorite products then go ahead and keep on watching. As you can see, I already have my brows done. So you guys, my brows right now this year, I have been using the Benefit Goof Proof. So, okay, let me hold, hold on. Okay, so I bought this, I think at the beginning of the year. This is uh, the Magical Brow Star set. This is only 59 bucks. And it came with all of this stuff. It came with these two brow pencils. So this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And then I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I also have the Brow Luminizing Gel. And then you have a, like a cream um, gel product here. A gel brow product here. And then you have the brow powder. So I don't use the powder that much. And I also don't use the gel that much. But I still have them here. And I got the shade 5. And you guys, I love these products for my brows. I've been using them all year long. And I mean, yeah, they're just amazing. So let's move on to the skin. I've also washed and moisturized my skin already with my normal skincare products. Um... Lately, my skin has been super duper dry. I went into Sephora and they recommended this um, Sephora Vitamin C Plus E Ultra Glow Serum. And I have been using it pretty much, um, you know, under my makeup ever since. Um, I don't travel with it, but when I'm here, um, this is what I use under my makeup. And it has been amazing. Oh, that got on my brows. Lovely. So I like to put this on underneath my uh, foundation. It's a little bit tacky, which I actually really like. Um, and just to double up on the hydration, you guys, like I said, my skin has been so dry. Anyway, I have been reaching for this um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer ever since I bought it. I ended up buying it in the, I want to say the summer months, and it's been my go-to ever since. It just makes my makeup look amazing. So, um... Yeah, this is definitely a favorite. Um, it doesn't have like a bad smell or anything. It leaves your skin tacky. It's really good, um, you know, for the makeup to stick to. And it also hydrates your skin, but not in like an oily way because I was even able to use this in the summer months when I am a little bit more oily um, and I didn't have any problems with it. So, so for my foundation, guys, the Born This Way foundation, it has beat every other foundation. It has blown every other foundation out of the water. I am in the color Chai. So for my foundation, I use the Real Techniques uh, sponge. And you guys, this has been a favorite of all time, actually. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over. And I typically only use two pumps of this. And it covers my entire face. It covers all of my, um, you know my pigmentation and my scarring you see you guys I think it's just a tad too dark maybe for my skin tone yeah in the winter time so I think I'm gonna have to go a tad lighter in the winter in this foundation but man is it good in the summertime it is my absolute perfect shade um, okay so with that blended out yeah you guys it's a little it's a little dark <laughs> right now, but it's okay. We're going to fix it because my next favorite is also by uh, Born This Way. It is the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and this is in the color Butterscotch. Um, yeah, I have tried quite a few concealers this year. This is still my favorite. I still keep reaching for this. So, um, yeah, this is not going anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead 
and blend this out under my under eyes. It's really good. I find that it does not leave my under eyes patchy. Um, and it just gives me the right amount of coverage that I'm looking for. Okay, so we have foundation uh, and concealer applied. Um, so now we need to set it. And my favorite, favorite, favorite setting powder is the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder, period. Period. Um, but this I'm just gonna use everywhere I place my concealer. And you guys, it just, I don't know, <clears throat> it's perfection doesn't cake it doesn't look crazy uh, it just works okay so now we can go ahead and bronze up the skin you guys my go-to bronzer is and still has been and still is the Queen collection bronzer in ebony bronze you guys this is the best bronzer for me Period. I have used the Fenty bronzer. I have like Coco Naughty. I've tried that one. I've tried, um, I don't know. I've been trying them like others and none of them really compare. Okay. None of them compare. This has been my go-to for years. I put my friends onto it when we're like out and about. They're like, what did you just put on your face? And I'm like, hey girl, couple girl. Cover girl, it's from the Queen Collection, Ebony Bronze. I just pray that they don't ever just continue this because if they do, I would be very, very sad. So I just use this to kind of bring dimension back into my face, um, chisel out those, you know, other areas. <laughs> and then I will take like another brush, something like this. And then I will just kind of do my nose, like the sides of my nose to kind of chisel that out a little bit. And I tend to take a little bit on the brush and then I tap it out here on the lid um, just to kind of get some of the product, excess product off. And then I just rub it up against the bridges, the sides of my nose. Moving on to my favorite highlighter of this year. It has to be, here it is. It is the Becca Cosmetics um, Chocolate Geode Highlighter. Um, a girl put me onto this at Ulta earlier in the year. She had it on. So I was like, girl, what is your highlight? And she was like, this is it. It's like the best one for chocolate girls. And I tried it on my skin tone and I loved it. I just think it is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it's been what I've been reaching for. It is very, very pigmented. It is very, very gold, golden. And I mean, I just think it is gorgeous. Okay, so moving on, you guys eye palettes so i'm just addicted to palettes let me just be honest i am addicted to palettes hi my name is Nadja, and i have an eyeshadow palette addiction the palette that really tickled my fancy and piqued my interest the most this year has been the Jackie Aina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This palette, still not heavily worn, it has been my most interested palette, right? The, the palette that I like the most and I want to play with the most, I have experimented with. However, it is not my most used palette. My most used palette of 2019 is this little guy right here. It is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsession. Look at this palette, y'all. This is a worn palette. You see pan? I am hitting pan on two colors. Y'all, this palette I have traveled with. I have taken on every single business trip because why? Look how tiny it is. It has all colors. Even if I wanted to do a night nice smoky eye, this brown, this darker brown right here is beautiful. That gold gives me everything I needed because that's like my go-to. It's like that shimmery kind of brownish smoky eye, which is super basic for me, but I know. But this palette, if I don't know what to do with my eyes, I pick up this palette. So anyway, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes with my handy dandy trusty warm brown obsessions palette so anyway you guys let's talk really quickly New Year's New Year's goals and resolutions you guys I have a lot of goals this year I have a lot of goals this year oh an eye primer I usually just use concealer so I will use like a um I'm not gonna do it today because obviously I do well let me do it because I would just put concealer on my eyes honestly as a primer I'm not a huge primer person um I just do this a little bit and that is it <clears throat> okay so 2020 goals you guys <clears throat> number one goal is to be more consistent on this channel surprise surprise you guys I started off on YouTube seven years ago you guys it's probably more than like eight years ago it it has been a long time. I started off blogging, and then I had people asking me, you know, about my makeup and my hair and, you know, who did, you know, those things. And it, I mean, it was me. I did, I did them all myself. So then I started doing videos. And honestly, just life events happened. Um, lately, it's been me struggling a lot with my weight. Um, I don't like the way I look on camera when I do these videos. It's literally me struggling through them and then to edit them. Once it gets to the editing link, you guys, I film a lot. I film a lot of videos. Half of the, the 80% of them, I scrap. Because I'll look at them and I'll be like, oh my God, is that what I really look like? Oh my God, is, is that my double chin? Oh my God, is that? So then I spin four hours ripping myself to shreds as I edit that video and and then I hate it and if I'm not proud of it and if I don't love it then I don't post it and the problem with that is it just for one it got really unhealthy for me um it just got me in a vicious cycle of me nitpicking everything about you know my body and it just became unhealthy and I don't want to be that person for one I don't want to be unkind to myself that is one of my biggest goals in 2020 and um, it's just not fair to be unkind to myself because half of the things I would I say to myself um, I wouldn't say to a best friend I wouldn't say I wouldn't even say it to somebody I didn't like because I'm not that mean of a person like I wouldn't look at them and tell them something like that um, because that's just not who I am as a person, but I was doing it to myself. So that has to stop. Um, and honestly, it's not about perfection. It's just about progress. So you guys are gonna see content and video that comes out that in my mind, it might not be like the best quality or the best, my best work. But honestly, I have to do something I would rather put something out than put nothing because that's been my hold up it's just being like oh well that's not perfect or oh wow you know I gotta redo that or you know whatever it is we're not doing that we are just pushing out content and we are growing and it's going to get better as we grow my thing is I always want it to be perfect and then I'll start no 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 you start and then you make it perfect as you go along okay as you grow as a person your content and your quality grows and so um and that's what i want to do i want to take you guys along with me on the growth because you know nobody wants to watch someone that just pops up perfect so yeah that is one of my huge goals is to really just grow through it <laughs> right so it doesn't have to be perfection you will grow it will get better just do something all right so i also want to get my wardrobe back together you guys i started off as a fashion blogger i am a fashion blogger i love fashion but again stemming back to my previous point of my weight gain i don't shop as much i literally wear sweats this is a sweatsuit this is a a velvet sweatsuit that I like very much um <laughs> but this is literally 
been it's been my uniform and I am not okay with that anymore because it doesn't make me feel like my best self um, I love dressing up. I'm someone who, you know, likes to dress up. I'm, I can be very girly. Um, I love fashion. And honestly, I just um, haven't been exploring that part of me for a while now. I don't shop as much as I do. And if I do, um, it's not intentional shopping, you know? I don't want to just be shopping just to just to shop um, and honestly that has been me it's been shopping just to put clothes on my body that's not sweatpants that doesn't have an elastic band on it okay I want to shop I want my wardrobe to be very smart sophisticated thought out very intentional that is my word for 2019 is intention and so everything I do would just be with intention so yeah you guys that's kind of where I'm at um, I want a wardrobe that is timeless I want a wardrobe that um, I love and that I'm proud of um, and that reflects me and my growth in the person that I'm going to be okay the person that I want to be I think that you know we we have a lot of growth still to do and um, yeah I think just you know having a wardrobe that reflects where I'm trying to go in life is going to be very important so, so my eyeliner is the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir. Anyway, it's this one right here. I've used this one since the beginning of time. And I think I might have been a little bit lazy to try another one. I really want to try the Hourglass Liner. I find I have heard that it is amazing. Um, this one is really, really good. I do find that I have been replacing this a lot more often than I like. So like here, for instance, is a brand new one. I'm probably gonna use this one because this one, it, it'll dry out. So within like a month or two, like it'll be, it'll be dry. This one is a fresh one. It's the felt tip liner, um, if you can see that. And it works really good when it's like this, but when it starts to get dried out, then I'm struggling and it, and it just causes me problems. So anyway, um, my mascara, is hold up still this the l'oreal no 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 this is the rimmel london lash accelerator love this i love the brush on it and i love the formula in it and this is my favorite combo and just like that we are back i went ahead and added the blinking butte lashes these are the genius lashes these are the ultra luxe featherweight Anyway, these lashes are kind of like a half lash um, because I wanted you to be able to see, um, you know, my makeup look. My lip pencil of choice is the Iman Cosmetics Perfect Lip Pencil in the color Cocoa. You guys, best lip pencils, lip, best lip pencils, period. Okay, for my lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and use the Vivid um, Hot Lacquer by Maybelline. This in the color Unreal popping y'all it's been my go-to it's like a lip gloss like lipstick and it's so matte it I mean it's not matte it's so um like long wearing that I love it it's beautiful like this is a beautiful color this formula is a beautiful formula but maybe if I change the way I My setting spray for the year would have to be the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. However, it's upstairs and I'm not gonna go get it. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is a really good one um, as well. I like it, it's just a very fine mist. Um, whereas the other one, it, I think it sets my face better but you kind of got to work, you know, the pump a little bit better. So, um, this one works. It's good. I like it. <laughs> All right. 
that is it so you guys this is the final look these are all of my favorite products for 2019 on my face right now and i do say so myself i did a pretty darn good job um that's another thing i want to do this year i want to play and make up more i really want to get better with my skills i want to just i don't know i just want to be better i want to blend i want to do a cut crease i want to do glitter i want to do um you know a graphic liner i want to do all that kind of stuff y'all i just want to just be like a little makeup baddie or whatever so, if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it if you would like um a lot of good products in here a lot of good products that i discovered last year and that i will continue using in 2020 um if you have any comments for me any video recommendations please go ahead and leave them down below and yeah you guys that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you again soon bye